working with Johnny Carson last night, and uh, there's a lot we can learn from him. Anyway, what what is Southwest Airlines doing in kind of a poor economy to make a little extra money? Uh, yeah, okay. Well, as you know, Southwest has bought another airline called AirTran. Well, now the bills are coming due, and we're trying to figure ways to increase revenue. If you'd like a flu shot during the flight, <laughs> the cost is only 10 bucks. We've got the stuff from Walgreens. We've got the gloves. We came to play. <laughs> and because we're a Las Vegas flight crew, if you'd like to get married to the person next to you, the cost is only twenty nine ninety five. It's a valid Las Vegas wedding. It lasts for 24 hours with an automatic annulment at the end. <laughs> Not bad for his fourth day, huh? Good. All right. We also have a, a, a new award. It's kind of like the best flight attendant of the month. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, uh, we just got notification from our base in Las Vegas that Brooke, our flight attendant in the center there, just won the prestigious customer service award for being the best flight attendant out of 1,389. Let's give her a hand. Proud, happy, and excited to be flying with you, Brooke. You are absolutely amazing. She has that inherent ability to make you feel important when she gives you, you know, does her service. She's amazing. You'll see. Unfortunately, both Clarence and myself, we won no awards whatsoever. <laughs> she can imagine the kind of service you're going to get from us. And me being from Providence, if you want a drink, get it yourself. <laughs> no, Frankie, we're not supposed to say that. But since you're being trained, I think they understand. All right, we're going to explain the fight. As best we can. Now, it's a brand new year, all right? And everyone needs to have their New Year's resolution by the end of the flight, okay? Let me know on the way out. Mm -hmm. i got a photographic memory. Okay. <laughs> this is an airplane. It's 700 series. This is a seat belt. To fasten, place the flat end into the buckle. To release, put them on the buckle. Where your seat belt tight and low across your lips. I'm in hips. <laughs> if you don't like humor, we have exits. Two in the front, two in the middle, two in the back, signs over headlights on the floor. This is a safety information card coloring book. Sorry, but it's by the kids on the last flight. Just look at the pictures, read the words, and promise you what it's from the fine friends off with dog on. And now, my favorite, the front yellow light vest looks like a toilet seat, but it's not. It's a Leave it there, let's ask you to take it out, and take it out. Put it over your head, you look good. Brooke looks the best. When we get outside the aircraft, fasten it the way, pull down the red tab, and we're pulling the tube at your shoulder. Right now. non-smoking flight, including laboratory. If you love to smoke, step out of the wing or you can watch two movies, Gone with the Wind and Blown Away. If you can light it, you can smoke it. Federal Aviation Regulations requires passenger compliance flight and passenger information signs posted placards, crew member instructions regarding seatbelts and smoking. All that means is we're the boss of the plane. I love being the boss at work because I can't be at home. <laughs> Frank, you live in the air. Yeah. It's going to get better. You're going to get more time off as you go. I'm yeah. What do you think? Do you think Frank looks like Ernest Borgnine or Don Riggles? Don Riggles. Now, many of you know that mm. I'm Clarence Lovett, Lyle Lovett's brother from a different mother. Uh. Yeah, so that's true. Okay, now, in a real emergency, folks, four oxygen masks will fall from the compartment of a ma'am. Don't be afraid. Okay, we'll get <laughs> okay, over. Okay. Pull down the mask until the plastic tubing is fully extended. Place the mask over your mouth and nose and breathe. Uh, Normally. Uh, the mask will be secured with the elastic strap. Although the plastic bag may not inflate, nitrous, I mean oxygen, <laughs> will be flowing. If you're traveling today with a small child, put your mask on first. If you have more than one child, decide which one has the most potential. <laughs> As a former radio announcer, Frank McCullough is going to take over. Thank you very much for flying Southwest. Do it all year long. Thank you very much. There it goes. Yeah, he deserves it. He's uh, that's my supervisor, Clarence. By the way, Clarence has a CD of exciting flight attendant announcements and holiday songs for passengers going to <laughs> Chicago. If you'd like one, they're only $9.95 each or two for $30. <laughs> See us after the flight. We're having an after party. Oh, by the way, listen carefully. I'm not really a flight attendant. I'm the undercover boss. I own this airplane. <laughs> I'm in disguise right now. I had a lifestyle lift last week. I'm really 35 years old. Just don't say anything. <laughs>